Triangulation of assessment is a gathering of evidence of student learning over a period of time from a variety of sources. These sources should include observations, conversations, and student products. It is important that students be provided with a variety of ways to demonstrate their learning. Teachers should not need to use observations, conversations, and products to assess each learning expectation. Through the duration of a course, there should be an overall balance of these sources. Triangulation of assessment is important because it increases the validity and reliability of the assessment of student learning. Validity is the measure of the extent to which an assessment provides evidence of the learning target it is intended to assess. In other words, does the assessment match the learning expectation? Many expectations can only be assessed through conversation or observations. For example, in a food nutrition course, students may have to demonstrate the ability to measure quantities accurately. Assessment in this case would be done by observation. Or a student in a physical education course may be required to participate regularly in sustained moderate physical activity. Again, in this case, the expectation would need to be assessed by observation. If we rely too heavily on one type of assessment over another, some students may be at a disadvantage. For example, a student who struggles with written communication may not be able to provide evidence that they've met a learning target using only a product for assessment. Reliability is a measure of the confidence we have that the information gathered in assessment task is accurate. If we are triangulating assessment using multiple sources over a period of time, we can increase our confidence that this information is accurate. In an online learning environment, triangulation of assessment also includes conversation, observations, and products. Although there is risk in online learning of relying too heavily on student products for assessment, conversations in online learning can include discussion forums, large or small group synchronous discussions, or student-teacher conferences. For example, a teacher can evaluate a student's reading comprehension using video conferencing software. Or a grade two student can demonstrate their ability to count by 20 through an audio conversation with their teacher. Observations in an online environment can occur in various ways, such as video recordings, live video, audio or digital recordings, or digital images. For example, a student can record themselves doing science experiment or performing a dance in their integrated art class. A digital recording can be used to assess a student playing an instrument in their online music course. In language arts, oral communication or reading expectations can be assessed using video conferencing. In online learning, there are many ways for students to demonstrate learning using products. Products can include digital quizzes, essays, e-portfolios, tables, charts, slideshow presentations, or graphic organizers. Overall, in any learning environment, either face-to-face, -face, online, or in a blended learning model, triangulation of assessment is important for valid and reliable evaluation of student learning.